Now, without getting into a battlefield assessment every day, I don't want to do that. Uh, uh, but uh, there, uh, Kabul is not uh, right now um, uh, in an um, imminent threat environment. You know, we're, we're flowing these forces in to help the State Department reduce their, their footprint, but, there, but there's no intention right now to close the embassy or to close all the diplomatic presence uh, in Kabul. We still want to be able to have that uh, in, in place. And as Cla Clarissa reported uh, just a few minutes ago, the situation in Kabul is calm right now. Yes, there's unease. Yes, there's uncertainty, and we understand that. Uh, but as we look at it from a military perspective, the city itself, uh, as you and I speak, is not under an imminent threat of collapse at this point. But obviously, we're watching this closely. We wouldn't have made this decision to send in another 3,000 troops if we weren't mindful uh, of the deteriorating security situation there. Don't believe it. What a plonker. What a plonker. <laughs>